Hey, what's going on, my friend? This is my first YouTube stream, so I'm not sure uh, what's going on. I've never done one before, but what's going on, YouTube? I'm going to pop in and do a real quick stream, so if a few people join us, that'll be awesome. I'm going to be doing a pour-over brew uh, with my Chemex, which is my favorite way to do it. I'll just kind of walk you guys through my Chemex pour-over brew system. What's up, everyone that's just popping into the chat right now? Uh, my name's Caitlin from Super Coffee. Maybe you've seen my videos here or on TikTok or on Instagram, wherever you're from. Welcome to the YouTube. Um, yeah, just going to do a quick Chemex workflow uh, live chat. If you have any questions uh, for me, definitely feel free to ask them. I'd love to ask answer those for you guys. But yeah, uh, if you don't know who I am, because I'm going to try to leave this video up on my channel, uh, my name's Caitlin. I'm a specialty craft coffee roaster from Toronto, Canada, but my goal is just to spread my passion for specialty coffee and to help everyone out there start drinking better coffee, because there's so many better options out there. So yeah, that's what it's all about. What's up? What's up, everybody? How's it going? Hope you guys are having a good Friday so far. It's a Friday of a long weekend here in Canada, which is uh, pretty awesome. So hope you guys are having a good Friday. If you're in the chat, drop me a hey, say what's up. Uh, Going to be doing a Chemex brew right now. So let's get that bad boy on the show here. I'm going to be using my Street Brew beans, specifically my medium roast from Honduras. Uh, go check that out. Link in bio, streetbrew.ca. Uh, those are the beans that I sell. It's one of the best ways to support your girl. Hello, Tom from the UK. What's up? I love seeing how global our audience is. Absolutely love that. You're new to my channel? Well, that is awesome. I'm so glad that you're here, my friend. My name's Caitlin. Hope you stick around, my friend. Make sure you guys hit that sub button if you're not already. Hello from Kentucky. What's going on? I love this. Again, we're doing a Chemex pour over. So for Chemex, I do 30 grams of beans using a nice medium roast from Honduras roasted by me, uh, which is pretty cool. I've never live streamed on YouTube before, so uh, we're just trying it out here, guys. All right, we got 30 grams of beans right there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it into my fellow Ode grinder, which I have right here beside me. Um, I love it, it's like the best grinder for filter and zip coffee in my humble opinion hello hello what's going on new people just popping into the chat it's our first ever youtube live stream so i don't know what to expect you don't like coffee but you like watching me that's okay you're still welcome here my friend maybe one day you will like coffee who knows right uh so i'm gonna go ahead and get this uh ground up again i'm doing 30 grams in maybe there we go now it's grinding what's up what's up you love coffee waiting for the grinder to calm down but what's up i'm so glad you love coffee uh shout out to everyone popping in right now uh i love that so i got my fellow o grinder i'm gonna get my fellow steg ekg kettle going uh, i'm gonna set it for 205 to uh degrees fahrenheit so that's what i'm gonna have that preset for i'm just gonna wait for that to cool down or heat up sorry not cool down you want a kettle to heat up not cool down but what's going on, everyone? Thank you to everyone who's just showing up today. Uh, I really appreciate that. This is my first uh, YouTube live stream. I've done lots on TikTok. Uh, so I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if anyone would come. But shout out to everyone who is here. Uh, if you have any coffee questions, definitely drop them in the chat. I'd love to answer those for you guys. We're going to be doing my Chemex today. Very excited about this. Just using basic Chemex filters, just like that. Pour overs are hands down my favorite way to brew coffee. Um, it's like a meditation for me, just a moment uh, of reflection because uh, I'm able to focus in on the moment and what I'm doing with my pores. And it's just going to make you a very nice, sweet, clean, crisp cup of coffee. And I absolutely love that. Somebody said coffee is life. I can't disagree, my friend. I can't disagree. Coffee is life. Uh, that's what this channel is about, mostly coffee stuff. I own my own coffee roastery. So, yeah, coffee is definitely life. So yeah, just waiting for the kettle to warm up. We got our beans all ground up. Again, we're using a medium roast from Honduras. Uh, my beans roasted by me. So you agree, coffee is life. I love that. I love that. I'm just vibing on this Friday afternoon. Hope you guys have had a good week so far. Uh, excited for the weekend ahead. <laughs> kind of apple watch do i have honestly it's like a series one it's super old school um i bought it on uh ebay ebay back in like three years ago so uh it's, it's an old school one for sure any new sneaker pickups um my last pair of sneakers that i picked up was the uh jordan waffle waffle ones that's what they're called sorry the nike waffle ones um that's what i la last picked up so yeah not really a coffee drinker, but you love my content. Well, thank you. I'm glad. It's really cool to me that, like, even people who don't drink coffee like my content. Like, that's awesome. I love that. Thanks for being here, guys. All right. While this is getting nice and warmed up, I'm going to steal some water and just dump it over the filter. This is going to wash the filter of any chemicals and also preheat my Chemex and get it ready for the hot coffee that's about to be inside of it. 
I don't know why I said it like that, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> and I'm going to let my kettle keep warming up while that water drains out. My Chemex gets nice and ready there. Uh, let me know, have you ever brewed with a Chemex before? I'd love to know. Uh, it looks really cool, and I absolutely love it. What kind of coffee are we making? We're just making a pour over with a Chemex using my street brew medium roast from Honduras. It's my favorite coffee. It's got chocolate, caramel, and cherry flavor notes, and it's so good. Just a nice, rich, full body tasting coffee. Not bitter in any way, shape, or form, so I absolutely love it. It's my go-to coffee. Get that water poured out. It is important to dump out that water. How much did all the coffee stuff uh, cost? So, um, the kit that I'm using this morning is just over 500, or this afternoon. So my fellow Ode Grinder, my fellow Stag EKG Kettle, just off, off camera, and my 8-cup Chemex is just over 500 bucks. But all my complete home equipment uh, is over 5,000. So yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those hobbies that gets expensive very fast. And for me, this is my business, right? So obviously I need the good, the good stuff. All right, so we got our 30 grams of beans going on here. Now that I've pre-wet my filter, I can get those dumped in. Please put in some Kit Kats. Not for a pour over. I'm sorry, my friend. Pour over is just classic coffee. I think I'm going to do a Snickers latte, though, over on TikTok later tonight. So stay tuned for that if that's what you're into, my friend. But yeah, just nice, straight pour over here. Take you guys through my pour over workflow. Ask you any coffee related questions. Answer any coffee related questions you guys may have here. Oh, this coffee was just roasted uh, earlier this week by your girl. So it's nice and fresh, which I'm very excited about. So we got our grounds in there. Again, 30 grams is in, waiting for our kettle. It's almost there, two more degrees. Two more degrees Fahrenheit to go, uh, and then we're gonna get it cranked up. Yeah, so what I'll do if you're not on TikTok, I actually try to post as many of the coffee lattes as I can on YouTube as well. So I know a bunch of them are up here. I'm a couple behind. We've done Twix. We've done a couple more. Uh, but yeah, I definitely also post those over here. Uh, most of you guys have probably found me through the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Latte. Uh, that one did insanely well. So thank you guys for all the love on that one. I really appreciate it. There's over 3,000 subscribers here now, which is just insane to me. Absolutely insane to me. What made you love coffee so much? Um, I just love the community that coffee is and how it breeds community and forces people, uh, not forces people, but it creates community around a shared love of something and coffee makes me happy. Um, and it's, it's yeah, that's kind of what makes me love it. The community that can be found around it, sharing a common interest. Uh, if, especially in the US where I lived, a lot of life happens inside of coffee shops, a lot of school, a lot of business, a lot of uh, relationships, so. Um, yeah, I love all that. I love that atmosphere and getting to create that. When you get TikTok back, my TikTok is um, cc.campbell, cc.campbell. Uh, you can find me on there. All right, looks like our kettle is good to go. So what I'm going to do first is called a bloom. I'm going to add my initial pulse of hot water. I do a 70 gram bloom with a Chemex and I let it sit for about 30 seconds. So that's what we're going to do right now. It is super important to bloom your coffee. I recommend doing it with all pour overs, all French presses, even the Aero press. So always bloom your coffee if you can. So we're just going to pour in little circles starting in the middle all the way to the outside. Till we hit 70 grams right there. Just like that. Now during the bloom phase, what should happen is you should see lots of bubbles uh, coming up. You can't see it right now because the camera angle, there's definitely a lot of bubbles bobbing up here. Uh, that indicates your coffee is fresh and it means CO2 gases that are in the beans from the roasting process are escaping and um, that helps you have a less sour tasting coffee. So it's super important to bloom your coffee. You've got 45 seconds on the clock for this bloom. And yeah, you should see lots of bubbles popping up if your coffee is fresh. Uh, that's a good indicator. So if you don't know when it's roasted, pop it in, do a bloom. If there's lots of bubbles, it was recently fresh. Beautiful, beautiful. Coming up on our 45 seconds here. Now for my first pour with the Chemex, I go to um, 250 grams. So that'll be my goal weight going next here. If you guys can kind of see that in the camera there. So for my next pours, I start at the outside and work my way in and then go back out. So the first pour of the bloom is in the middle. Sorry, Fred, I don't know what your question was. Just pour in little slow circles. Make sure your bed is getting fully saturated as much as you can. Right until 250 grams. Just like that. 
Feel free to give it a little swirl, a little shake. What do I rate the coffee I'm making? I love this coffee. It's 10 out of 10, my favorite way to make coffee. So I went to 250 grams here, gave it a little shake. I like to wait for my coffee to completely dry down before I go into the next pour. The more pours you use with a pour over will give you sweeter tasting coffee. So that's really cool. Uh, and my final output of coffee should be right around 510 grams. Right, like to do roughly a one to 17 ratio, one to 17 ratio. Uh, and it's really fun. The whole process should take between four to six minutes uh, to complete. Uh, sometimes it definitely goes longer. It often goes longer for me when I'm live streaming and answering questions. Um, but yeah, it's such a great practice for me. Uh, I do this at least once a day just to um, dial in. What coffee takes the longest to make? Honestly, probably this. It takes four to six minutes. Um, French press, probably right around the same period of time. But yeah. You're good, my friend. You're good. I appreciate you being here. I'm so thankful uh, for everyone who's shown up today. I didn't know if anyone would show up, so I normally do my lives on TikTok, so I'm just thankful for everyone showing up today, so thank you guys. It's my first experience, and it was just kind of impromptu. Had a few minutes of time, and I was like, you know what? We're going to go make a pour over over on TikTok with the folks, or over on, on YouTube with the folks, whoever shows up. We're almost done drawing down, so you can see our coffee drawing down there. Once it does, we'll go ahead and do the next pour, and I'm going to bring that to 350 grams. Is the weight worth it? I think the weight is worth it. I think the coffee you get from a Chemex is absolutely amazing. Like I said, it produces a nice, clean, uh, bright-tasting coffee that really allows you to taste the natural flavor notes in the coffee. Because the Chemex is so thick, or the filters, sorry, are so thick, it filters out a lot of the oils in the coffee that cause bitterness. So I personally definitely think the weight is worth it with this brew method. So we're going to go ahead and do our next pour here. I do between three and four pours, depending on how I'm feeling. Also, the closer you pour to the coffee, the better. Uh, if you pour from too high, the air is actually going to cool down your coffee stream, and so it's not going to brew at the right temperature. So you want to brew as close to the filter and the coffee as possible. There we go. You can ask something, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. I always like to give it a little stir in between, just to make sure my full uh, coffee bed is getting as saturated as possible here. I'm not timing my brew right now, but yeah. Just waiting for all the water to draw down. I don't know how TikTok, or YouTube works if you guys get notified of when I go live. I'm not sure if that works. I know on TikTok, obviously, a lot of people get notified, but not sure about YouTube. Pancake coffee? I don't know if I can do pancake coffee, my friend. That would, uh, that would be, uh, I'd have to look into that. I would definitely have to research that. So we're already getting a nice flat bed developing, which is super important. It means we're getting a nice extraction. Your dad needs to see this work of art. You should send him this video after, Eli. You should definitely send him this video after. So yeah, I'm really happy with the flat bed that we're already getting. Very happy with that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do another pour to 415 grams. Hopefully we can keep the bed nice and flat. Your last few pours are a little bit smaller than your first ones. You want to put in roughly 60, 60 to 70% of your water in the first two pours. Just like that. Straining down, nice and sweet. No stalling in the brew, which is super important. There will be one more pour after this that I do to bring it right to 500 grams. Uh, and then it'll be good to drink. I'm <laughs> probably not going to drink it right away because it's definitely got to cool down. Uh, some tricks, put some ice cubes in your coffee to get it to cool down a little bit faster. Almost there, guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in to today's live brew.
I brew roughly twice, uh, twice a day over on TikTok, so, or I do about two live streams a day over on TikTok, so be sure to go check that out and join that community if you want more live streams. Uh, I'll probably be live over there tonight again in a couple hours, so we'd love to see you guys there and check that out. Uh, I go live on Instagram every Monday as well. Can I show you my taste test of what? Of this? Maybe. It depends on how long I'm going to let it cool down, my friend. Good. We still have a nice flat bed, which I'm super happy about. Uh, we have a fly in here now, apparently. Fly has entered the chat. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do one more pour to 500 grams. And we have a nice flat bed, so I'm very happy about that. We've had a very nice even extraction. Beautiful. Just like that. I'm going to put this back in here, but I don't want it to get too hot. Well, then you can watch the ones here on YouTube, my friend. Not a problem. Not a problem. I'm going to be doing more lives here, more live brews for sure. You don't like coffee, but you love my videos. Well, thank you. I so appreciate that, guys. It's really cool that I can connect to people who don't even like coffee um, just through my videos. So thank you very much, my friend. I think our brew is a little stalled here. I like to just give it a little bit of a lift. It usually kicks some life back into it. There we go. Beautiful. You have to go. Have a great night, my friend. How did you learn all of this? Well, so I'm a coffee roaster. That's my job. Um, other people in the coffee industry have mentored me and taught me a lot. The internet is also a powerful place uh, to learn a lot of information about coffee. TikTok, there's a ton of great tutorials. Here on YouTube, there's a ton of great tutorials. I do my best to put out super helpful, simple tutorials to help you get started. So definitely check those out as well. Love your passion. Thank you very much. I really, truly appreciate the love, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. But yeah, just being around the coffee industry and getting mentored by people who are far smarter than my uh, than myself um, and just trying to learn as much information as possible. And my goal is to take the information that I know and share it back out to you guys so that you guys can start brewing amazing coffee and fall in love with specialty coffee because there's so much better coffee out there than fast food coffee. So that's uh, my goal here. Looks like we're doing well. It's draining down very nice now. Hopefully we still have a nice flat bed at the end. So thanks for great questions, guys. If you have any more, definitely leave them in the chat. I'll do my best to answer them here for you guys. This was my very first YouTube live, so I hope you guys have liked it so far. Uh, it was very impromptu, but yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, though. <laughs> haven't even poured the coffee yet. That's like the most exciting part, no? There we go. We got a beautiful flat bed. I'll show it to you guys here in just a minute uh, as we get ready to end the brew. A little bit of water, still draining out. We're at our goal weight of 500 grams. So uh, for anyone who's just tuning in now, I did 30 grams in, 500 grams out. Uh, what's your thoughts on standard Italian short and small single espresso? Um, I'm not a huge espresso fan. I do have it. I have my Breville Barista Express in the background here uh, that I do all my espresso stuff on. Um, it's not my favorite way to drink coffee. I'm more like lattes when I'm, when I'm dealing with espresso. Uh, but I think espresso is great. Espresso is great. I know the Italian community. I am Italian. We love our espresso. So absolutely. There we go. Looks like our brew is pretty much done. Let me show you guys this there. So a nice flat bed has developed, which I'm super proud of, super happy with. That means when you get a flat bed, it indicates that you've had the uh, best, most even extraction that you can out of the coffee. So you've extracted all the goodness. So you can go ahead and take our filter out here. And now we can pour the goodness. Now what you're gonna notice is that this coffee is gonna come out quite amber in color. It's not gonna be dark, dark. That's because of the clarity during the brewing process. Uh, the way we roast coffee is extremely pure. So you get a very clean, crisp tasting cup of coffee. So I gotta let this cool down for a little bit. Um, so probably not gonna do much of a taste test on here unless you guys ask some more questions. Um, but yeah, I gotta let it cool down for a little bit. And that is basically how I make coffee with a Chemex. I try to do this almost daily. It's one of my favorite things to do. Just love the act of physically, manually making my coffee. The pouring helps me stay grounded and focused in the moment. And it's kind of like a meditation. So I really enjoy that. And we're coming up on a 20 minute live stream here. I do have a little bit of merch. We have this t-shirt right here that I'm wearing. It says Street Brew Coffee which is my coffee company. You can find it at my website. 
and we're gonna be releasing a couple more shirts probably in the not too distant future um so yeah we'll see we'll see we got a few different shirts out there but this one is readily available right now as is my coffee at the link in my bio again i used our super medium roast from honduras it's our signature blend my personal favorite i absolutely love it you can find it at the link in my bio uh it's one of the best ways to support you uh, yeah, so I have two to three cups of coffee a day, usually. Um, some days only one, some days none. Uh, to be honest, today, this is, this will be my second cup today. You love coffee? Nice, me too. I'm not so much a tea fan, but I do love coffee, my friend. Thank you to everyone who's been checking out the channel. I so appreciate all the love and all the growth we've had. New level of coffee drinking. Oh yeah, there's levels to this. There's levels to this. Uh, somebody commented on one of my TikToks and I was like, not my friend. There's levels to this. Um, so yeah, you just take it to a deeper level and a deeper appreciation and understanding. Uh, part of the way, part of the reason I love doing coffee the way I do it is, is the impact it has right through the whole supply chain, right to the farmers. We uh, sustainably buy our coffee uh, directly from farmers and ensure that they're getting good money and being taken care of. Uh, and so when you do that, you get good green beans here. Uh, and produce an amazing cup of coffee that doesn't exploit anybody in the system. So it's a good way to do it. Where did my love from coffee come from? Honestly, just starting my own coffee company, starting my TikTok, uh, starting the YouTube, and just, um, I already liked it, but now having this platform and the ability to teach other people and share about my passion makes me even more passionate about it, to be honest. And like I said, I want to educate people as well. Glad I found you. Can't drink caffeine anymore. Super sad. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so if you're a decaf drinker, look for a Swiss water decaffeinated coffee. That's going to be the best form, the most classic taste of coffee. Um, it's as close to real coffee as you're going to get. I am not one of those people that is anti-decaf, but look for a Swiss water decaffeinated. We have an amazing one at Street Brew. Check it out for sure. We have several decaf drinkers uh, in our community who are like, oh, my gosh, thank you for this. You're almost at 300k on TikTok. I am. You are correct. Last I checked, I was at 298 something. So I'd love to hit 200, 300k today. I think that would be amazing, but we'll see. You're famous. Thank you. Thank you. Hardly, but thank you. I appreciate all the love, guys. Yeah, I would love to hit 300k on TikTok tonight. So if you're not here already, or if you're not over there already, go check it out. It's under CC Campbell. Someone says I would be a great voice actor because I have a great voice. Thank you. Any voice actors out there want to hire a girl? slide into the DMs. I'd love to work with you. I really appreciate that, guys. So thank you for coming to today's live stream. We're just past 22 minutes here, but I think I am going to get ready to wrap it up. I appreciate you guys coming to this impromptu live. I definitely want to do more lives here on YouTube as well. I probably keep calling this a TikTok live, but um, <laughs> YouTube live. Definitely want to do more lives here. We did a nice little pour over brew with my Chemex. Again, that's my favorite way to brew coffee. Uh, so yeah, thanks for coming, guys. I'll catch you guys in a future live stream. Uh, have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Lots more content coming here on YouTube, as on TikTok, as on Instagram. I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. Have a wonderful night. Deuces. Except I don't know how to end this, but we'll figure that part out.